fuck this up mightily, but y'all won't know. Get a hold of right there. It's actually not, it's an old song. I, I started on it uh, several years ago uh, after a disappointing loss. Uh, a Bulldog's disappointing. I'm, I'm good at that. I wrote another song after a disappointing loss many, many years ago. This is a more fresh disappointing loss. Good, I wrote this song and it was sad as fuck, you know. And I, I wrote a verse and a chorus and I was like, man, nobody is ever going to want to hear this shit because it's so sad and I didn't know what to do with the song. And I, I couldn't finish it. And I, I, I started asking myself, why? Why can't you finish this song? And I, I started thinking about life and I started thinking about football. And I realized that you know, I, I've been married now for going on 20 years. And it's been a long time since I've had my heart broken. You know, like literally had my heart broken. Or not, you know what I mean, like heartbroken. And football is the closest thing I come to that. You know, like the emotions that I get from watching football. It's a simulation for that. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, it's so crushing. Uh, but when, it, you know, when we win, it's like, yeah! Realize, like, man, I, I can't finish the song because this song is about heartbreak, you know. And I got stuck on the song. And you guys know me, like, I, I put out a bunch of records, and I, I haven't, I haven't really co-written uh, during my career. I've written all, all my records. I've written all the songs by myself. But, but recently, I've been stuck so much, and I've been kind of bored. And I've made so many friends over the years with other artists and other writers. After the pandemic, after I could like go out and hang out with people again. I started hanging out with friends that were in the same line of work. And so I was hanging out a few weeks ago in Nashville. I was hanging out with my friend Cole Taylor, who's from South Georgia. He's a big hit songwriter. He's a much younger guy than me. Huge Georgia fan. And I explained to Cole the predicament that I was having with this song. I was like, man, I've been stuck on this song for fucking years. You know, I wrote it after we lost to Alabama and, uh, you know, twice. And I told him all the same things I just told y'all. I was like, I realize I can't write this song because it's fucking sad. And he, t and he tells me, he said, oh, man, this song is about, it's about football games and girls. And I was like, well, kind of. and, then I, and then I thought, oh, yeah, it is. So anyway, we wrote this song together uh, that I want to try to play for y'all now and see how it goes. Called back in there, costing us now. Lord knows that the rest didn't help. Somebody must have paid them all. Even the fella in the replay booth said we should have had the ball. Oh, don't seem fair. It don't seem fair. Tough luck feels like the good guys never win. than never could have been. Now all I can do is drink about the dreams that didn't come true. Football games and girls like you. Get my hopes so high and lean on my knees. Oh, it hurt like hell, it hurt like. 